Mm -hmm. On your way to school? Are you two stuck in traffic? Uh huh. Ah, I see. Well, how's about we change it up a little? Is that a bit more fun? <laughs> Come on then, let's go! When you use your own energy to travel to places, like walking to school or scooting to your friend's house, you're using active travel. Anyone can use active travel to get around, and it can be a lot of fun. Active travel is when you use your own body's energy to travel instead of using cars or vans, which all use fossil fuels as energy. Active travel can be done with a bike, a scooter, a wheelchair, or by walking or even running to nearby places. But why do you want to use active travel? Active travel is good for your body because it keeps you physically active, which can help the body defend against diseases, strengthen your bones and muscles, and make it easier to do everyday things. It also helps to improve your brain by helping you to think, to learn, solve problems, improve your concentration, and help you feel calm. Walking or cycling or even scooting to school is great. When you arrive at school, you're wide awake and can concentrate much better. With active travel taking you outside with your friends, it helps make your community become a happier place to live. Even when you have to get a lift, you can get dropped off a short way from the school and walk the rest of the way. This is called a park and stride. This takes cars away from the front of the school and makes it safer for us. And finally, active travel also helps us to protect our planet Earth. If you walk or cycle to shops, instead of using cars all the time, you can help lower the amount of pollution made by engines, which helps us to protect our planet and keep it happy. So, how can you best use active travel? Well, it's safe to choose active travel when you or your friends are not travelling too far, like going to school or a nearby shop or park. Even these little trips can make a very big difference. Fingal County Council is improving cycle lanes and making changes on the road outside schools so that you can choose to walk, scoot or cycle safely. If you are walking, scooting or cycling, it's important to obey the rules of the road and be kind to other road users and pedestrians. Now that you know what active travel is and what it does for your body, community and planet, what will you choose to do now? If more people choose active travel, there will be cleaner air around your school and less traffic. But only if you and others choose to try active travel when you can. It's really fun. Even if you can just walk or cycle just some of the way to school, you can help your friends, your family, your neighbours and your planet.